welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to test your alternator. So you pop your hood, you find your battery, it's got your negative and positive terminal on it, they'll be marked, they'll be red, they'll have a plus sign, and the negative will be black, it'll have a negative sign on it. To test it, what you need is a multimeter, okay? And these things are cheap, they're like 10 to, you know, $50. You can get a away with like a fifteen twenty dollar one even a ten dollar one will work so what you want to do is you want to set up for DC voltage so I'll try to do this in front of the camera so this is DC voltage here this is AC voltage with the waveform DC is a straight line with some dots so your battery is about you know twelve volts DC so we're going to put it in the twenty volt range okay and we're going to come down here with our leads and if you have a digital one, it doesn't matter if you put the leads on backwards, it's not going to blow up. So we're going to set this down here on the battery and set the leads to it. And it is going to read, okay, this one's reading 12.66 volts, okay? And that's important that you find out exactly what it reads. So, I'll back up so you can see me. So that's important that you know exactly what it reads, because when your alternator is working, it's charging the battery, so it'll be higher voltage. So it'll be about one volt higher. So right now your car's off, you're at 12.66 volts. We'll start the car up, you should be at 13.66 volts or about 14 volts. All right, And then you'll know your alternator is working. Now if your uh, alternator's or your battery reading stays at 12.66 or less, that means your alternator is not supplying charge to your system and your battery will eventually die probably in the next day or two, okay? <laughs> so the symptoms, here's the symptoms. If your alternator is going, um, what's going to happen is your car is going to be harder to start and then you're going to be driving along and it's just going to die on you and you're going to try to start it again and it won't start at all. That's an alternator. And here's how you test it. So if you're concerned, you're going to go on a long trip, or you know you just don't think that your battery is working properly, you can test your alternator this way. Also, battery performance. Um, factory batteries die off about seven years in, at least. Um, I would replace any battery that's older than seven years. And an aftermarket battery, I would replace them every five years. That's just me. Um, you can do what you want, obviously, but. Uh, that's how I do it, basically. If I'm getting poor performance or I buy an old car, first thing I do is change the battery. So, anyway, we're going to start the car, and then what we're going to do is read this again. Alright, so I'm just going to set that there. Again, touch into our battery thermal, and our reading is 14.52, so a couple volts higher, right? That shows us that the alternator is working fine. So it's got to be charging at least one to two volts higher than what your battery reading was to begin with, okay? So, um, that's basically it for this. It's really simple to troubleshoot. Alternators aren't that difficult to change in most uh, most vehicles. <coughs> I changed this one in this car because I had a, uh, a stripped bolt and uh, the bolt bolted into the alternator, so obviously I couldn't tighten the belt for that, so I needed a new alternator anyway. But uh, that's basically it. So like if your car just doesn't start properly, and uh, you replace the battery, you think, oh yeah, it's great now, look, I got a new battery. And then a week later, your car doesn't start. You didn't need a battery, you needed an alternator. <laughs> so, anyway, it's pretty simple. Anyway, quick and easy test. Um, thanks for watching.